Hi. My name is Eduardo Adame from Technofin. I thank uh, Nob Commerce for this invitation, and I hope uh, you like this conference. Well, the conference is about telling our secrets of how we uh, are selling our uh, developing uh, development services and uh, how to provide them uh, in a better way. Okay, here are the topics we are going to talk. There is no point to mention them because we are going to get into details in all of them. And first of all, let me give you an idea of uh, Technofin. Technofin is the company which I will present. It was founded in 1992 and was uh, uh, its target was to get uh, help companies to get into the e-business. Uh, first, uh, we started. My background was uh, I, w I used to be a banker, whether I looked like a banker or not, but I used to be one of them, and uh, was heading the uh, uh, e-banking division in the early stages of uh, the largest bank in Mexico. And uh, so, in 1992, I decided to try cold water and became independent and was a consultant. And consulting, uh, providing consulting and training services for companies, large corporations, large banks, yeah and all uh, related to uh, e-banking. May I ask uh, how many of you are developers? And how many of you are store owners? Oh, you want to know the secret of uh, <laughs> store owner? Okay. Well, uh, since uh, 1996, we st started uh, uh, providing consulting, training, and mostly development services in e-commerce. We have uh, since then developed more than uh, uh, 300 projects. First, uh, we started uh, using the software uh, from uh, Microsoft, Site Servers, uh, Commerce Edition. That's a long way ago. And uh, then we started, uh, made a derivation of, uh, of that uh, software and started developing it uh, on our own. And uh, it worked fine, but uh, the problem was that the technology was changing too fast and we couldn't cope developing sites and developing uh, the software. So we decided in uh, two, uh, uh, 2010 to move to not commerce and since then we have developed uh, 70 sites, e-commerce sites with this software. I tell you, that was a good decision for us, otherwise I wouldn't be here. Uh, the company would have been gone a long time ago. And we are happy we joined uh, the not commerce community and we are working uh, to make it uh, bigger because that's on our own interest. Now you want to see the uh, Technofin team. Probably you are thinking of uh, a group of uh, creepy old men trying to, to program. Well, here it is. Here is the team. I am the oldest one, as you can see. And now, what kind of services can be provided by a development agency? First one is consulting, web design. We are going to get into detail on, uh, into this development and customization, selling uh, plugins and themes. 
that's a, a very tricky decision. You are working with a customer, you develop, uh, while uh, customizing uh, the site, you develop some plugins, and uh, then you are tempted to sell them. Well, it's not that easy. When you have a, a uh, when you have finished your plugin, you have done probably 30% of the work. Milen uh, just uh, told you uh, there is much more to do. You have to, when you have a plugin, you have to generalize it, make it uh, user friendly, and do the whole marketing. And that's not easy. So we haven't taken into uh, selling plugins. The hosting and operation for us is very important. Why? Because we keep the customer. And for us, our present customer will keep on ordering uh, new business for us. So for us, it's very important to keep our customers. Enhancements and upgrade are also uh, a way of making new businesses with our former clients. E-marketing, usually they, they, they need e-marketing, but that's another field, we don't touch it. Sometimes we have some alliances, uh, partnerships with other companies, and we jointly provide e-marketing services. So, sorry, I forgot, there is one, uh, one service missing here. Who can uh, tell me which? Uh, support. SEO. Well, uh, it's support, hosting and operation, uh, it's support. Another one. So the one who gets it, gets uh, a glass of tequila when they come to Mexico. <laughs> uh, well, a bottle, if you come to Mexico before uh, tomorrow. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, a bottle, but which is missing? Training. training. Yeah, training. I missed uh, when I was preparing. Okay. Okay, yeah. You remember, you, you have a bottle of tequila. Thank you. <laughs> I was just offering uh, just one glass of tequila. Okay. In consulting, it's uh, very important for us and for you if you are selling. Why? Because when you are selling, you are giving advice, you are not just saying it, buy it, no. Telling what to buy, why to buy it, and what, uh, what for to buy it. And uh, the, here are the uh, topics we cover when uh, we are doing uh, our uh, consulting. And uh, we are going to get into detail in each one of them. First, uh, the first thing is understand the client. What activity is he? Is he selling? Is manufacturing? Is uh, representing uh, another company? Is a distributor? which size, how many employees, the amount of sales, uh, how many uh, stores or point of sale it, it has, if it, it's any, Th does it have uh, some dealers representing them somewhere else? How do they operate? Which products uh, are they carrying? What is their market? Yeah. Are they aiming to the uh, final user? Are they a uh, wholesaler? Uh, are they selling to companies or to uh, employees of another company? You have to understand them and where is uh, the geography of their market. It's just in one city, one whole country, the whole continent, the whole world. And uh, so uh, what, uh, what is the... Uh, socioeconomic uh, target in the uh, upper end, middle end, or uh, lower end. 
and uh, well, the market size, and uh, who are their compact, uh, competitors, and which advantages do they have against their competitors, and what the competitors are doing, and uh, what are their competitive uh, advantages against other competitors. Then you, you have to analyze the market. Okay, they are, for instance, in the shoe industry. What, how is the shoe industry uh, behaving uh, in terms of e-commerce? And what are the uh, key issues of the key strategies? For instance, we did a, a, a very interesting consulting service with uh, a shoe producer and a shoe dealer. And uh, at first we thought, well, who's going to buy? That was five, seven years ago. Who's going to buy shoes? And we, after doing some research, how it was behaving in the USA, we found that that was one of the fastest growing uh, markets. But uh, you cannot sell uh, shoes like in a store but you have to give some uh, uh, interesting, uh, uh, some experiences that you have in the store. A lot of visualization. See the shoe from front, turn it, uh, see the colors, a lot of visualization. And something else, what happens if, if it doesn't fit? Free return. What happens if when I get it, no, that was not what I was thinking of. So you have to understand how these type of products are sold within uh, the market and mainly in the uh, e-commerce market. E-commerce, then we proceed and make an, uh, a proposal. Well, are you going to sell all your products or just a group, uh, a batch of it, depending on, on how many products you have? Or maybe, uh, maybe you are going to sell more products, more products in e-commerce. Why? Because you don't have to really carry inventories in some situations. So maybe your catalog is going to be bigger, larger than your uh, mortar and brick and mortar stores, which kind of functionalities or features you need in your store. Uh, how are you going to uh, handle stock? Are you just share it with the one store or are you going to have uh, one uh, warehouse dedicated to your e-commerce store, which are going to be the payment uh, methods and how are you going to prevent uh, fraud? Uh, I think uh, all of our customers have experienced uh, fraud. Uh, and we have to tell them what are the ways to prevent it. Then uh, which are the uh, shipping methods, which are uh, the best for this type of customers. Payment methods or shipping methods change from customer to customer. So we have to advise them which are the best ones, which are the required then human, technical, and financial resources. And how do they, uh, can they uh, uh, distribute uh, organize, uh, make the e-commerce department organization. It's going to be centralized or it's going to be decentralized. That means that uh, the shipping is going to be done by the logistic department. E-commerce will just be uh, taking care of the, the website and customer service and the financial uh, area will take care of the payments, watch the payments. Well then uh, we proceed to recommend uh, some tactics 
and strategies, and we produce a marketing plan and a business plan. There is how to promote it and then to try to produce, generate a three-year income uh, forecast. And then uh, when, uh, with an implementation calendar, when this is going to be done and uh, what for. Usually we provide this consulting uh, in uh, four sessions, uh, five four-hour sessions with top executives. And uh, uh, we also dedicate about 40 hours for research and documentation. And uh, when uh, one of the companies, one of our customers, takes these uh, uh, consulting services, we make a 40% discount if they then use our development services. Why so? Can you tell me why so we make such a big discount? No, uh, the reason is that when, uh, as I told you before, when you are selling, you are doing consulting. So they are paying you for selling them. So part uh, of, of the uh, of the work that we are doing it is going to be used for sale. So it's fair to give them a discount. Now, web design. Usually, uh, we have uh, three kinds of situations. One is the company is large enough and has a, either a design department or has an advertising agency and they do the design that we are going to apply in the website. So uh, that's one option. Another is that we do the design and for that we have external freelance uh, designers. And sometimes, but very few, just in the, for the small customers, we do uh, 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 use uh, some of the templates, we buy them from uh, the not side. What uh, do we do? Uh, you know probably all those steps. When uh, you are making a development, you first apply design. Then you can figure uh, some uh, uh, of the not features just for that uh, client. And we usually integrate third party plugins. We buy some of the collections from uh, uh, one of the not providers, and uh, we always include them, not all of, uh, of, the, uh, of the plugins, but those which are suitable for that customer. And then we also sometimes develop new features. When they are complex, we prefer to, uh, uh, to develop uh, our own rather than uh, buying them. And uh, also it's uh, very required to do some uh, develop some connection with the ERP, CRM systems, or with the banking or payment uh, providers, and also shipping providers. And sometimes we have to make uh, other developments to connect uh, with third-party systems, like uh, a security system, like other systems which are uh, providers of our own customers. Now, here is uh, support and hosting and maintenance. For us, it's, as I told you, very important because if we give good service, we keep on with the uh, customer. It's not uh, Selling the service is not just saying, here is your store, goodbye, good luck, see you next life. So we try to keep uh, connection with them. 
keep on servicing them. And therefore, for us, hosting and maintenance is uh, a very important area. And that gives us uh, probably a 25% uh, of our uh, income. But let us keep our customer base. Yeah, and which are those services? Well, hosting, and now we are providing also Cloudflare, yeah, which uh, give them pro uh, preventive uh, maintenance, backup, resets, log uh, cleansing, etc. And uh, also, uh, when there is a problem, we have a a re, uh, to respond to any kind of uh, contingency that may arrive, and uh, we keep uh, uh, our staff alert even in weekends and holidays. Protection against cyber attacks, update uh, uh, servers and platforms. One thing is our customers Really, what they want to do with e-commerce is they don't want to deal with bits and bytes. What they need is a solution, a solution for selling. So forget about uh, IT problems. We take care of them, and that's why we do. And also we give uh, technical support when they have a massive update, and uh, we don't have this uh, in case of a customer that has not uh, uh, their system, uh, ERP system connected to the store, then we have people who can uh, get their uh, Excel uh, sheets with products and help them uh, upload them. Also configuration and settings. Of course the, cu the customer can do it, but uh, it's very unfrequent that uh, the customer does it. And when he does it, he doesn't know how to do it. We prefer to do it ourselves. And uh, massive uh, configuration, and, uh, uh, sorry, uh, other complex uh, tasks, usually discounts, when they have complete uh, discounts, we make them for them. Uh, we uh, configure, uh, configure them for them, and also changes uh, to skin and design uh, during the time we do it, and then we want to help them to sell more, so we watch how they are selling and give them some ideas, you can do this or that to sell more, to attract more customers, so we keep them on, on, uh, in contact, e either answering their questions or taking the initiative and going to them. Listen, to, you have a, too many complaints from your customer, or you can have more visited like this or that. About the training services that I missed, we mostly devote uh, half a day with uh, our customer. When uh, the system is ready, the store is ready, we spend a half a day telling them how to uh, uh, deal with the administration. But we mostly focus with catalog, customers, sales, and probably the content uh, uh, sections. We never get into the configuration, system, and security, because that's not of their interest. And this can be very uh, complex stuff. So we take them for them. Every now and then, either they ask or we suggest some improvements, new features they, they may have, or new connections with their uh, ERP or the CRM systems, or they want changes in design, big changes, and we do uh, them. We charge but not uh, as the, uh, we give them a very good discounts, and usually we do an upgrade. At least uh, we want our customers to have an upgrade 
two or three years, every two or three years. That uh, fortunately, technology is changing that fast that if uh, you don't upgrade your 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 store, uh, it would be outdated very easily. So it's important to remind your customers that they have to upgrade and which advantages they will get, which new features or advantages they will get when they are upgrading. Okay, which are the potential markets? If we think sales-wise, here are the three typical uh, markets, the large and medium and small. Which is the best one for us? The medium. The medium. Why? Why not the, uh, the small has millions of uh, companies. Why not the small one? Spend more time supporting them. They fail before launch. Yeah. Well, the small one, the uh, budget goes like that. Right? Most but uh, why not uh, the, budget, uh, the large companies have a bigger budget? Why don't uh, to aim them? They have their own people. They have their own people or their own CR, uh, uh, ERP systems with uh, already uh, e-commerce. Okay, so we are focusing mainly in the medium market, this small market, uh, small uh, companies usually have a low budget, they, don't, they have very uh, scarce human resources, so they want you to do much more for less, for much less, so uh, it's not a really very attractive uh, market. You can also think of the vertical markets. For instance, we tried for a, did a two years, long time ago, two years uh, project with Florist. Big mistake. They are small. They didn't uh, have a budget and. Uh, they were not uh, well instructed to handle e-commerce, so it was a failure. We have a gut, but that's just uh, by chance, into the shoe market. There is an area in Mexico where everyone uh, is selling or manufacturing. It's a, a city devoted mostly for uh, shoe and uh, leather uh, work production. You don't ask them, uh, uh, what are you doing? You said, what kind of shoes are you selling or producing? Everyone does it. And uh, we made a good project for one of them, and then the others come, come on and say, I want something like what you did for this or this other customer. So we have uh, quite a few uh, customers in the industry, also wholesalers. What is the advantage of disadvantage of concentrating in <coughs> vertical markets? You probably reduce a lot of customer features of the similar product. Yes, and you understand them better. Yes. They use the similar features and you understand better their needs. What is the big uh, disadvantage? Stuff. Sorry? You don't learn new stuff. No, well, uh, you don't uh, learn uh, new stuff. Uh, you always uh, learn new tricks. But the disadvantage is many of them are jealous and say, no, you are working with my competitor. I don't want uh, They are afraid you will transmit their, uh, 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 their secrets. And uh, also, uh, it sometimes you think uh, twice if you are going to, you have a customer in this uh, field, whether you are going to work uh, for this competitor. You run into ethics uh, questions. Okay, 
how do we reach our uh, potential customers? Our website is extremely important. It's not the best website, I'm afraid. But uh, for us, uh, they find us. We very, very, very seldom go and look for a new customer in a, hey, you want to uh, have an e-commerce site? Are you interested in selling? That doesn't work for us. What uh, we have is a website, and the visit, uh, visitors come and ask us for a proposal. The power by Technopin. We, in all sites, we uh, have uh, our label. And that's the reason they come. I like this site. Can you make a, uh, a site for me? So the power by Technopin is a key issue. Another is the not partnership uh, uh, label. I may tell you that uh, probably the best projects we have got is because companies say, I like not commerce, and who's giving, uh, who's uh, providing these services in Mexico? Oh, we are. Okay, and then they call us, and even in some other countries in, in Latin America. So for us, it pays hundreds of times to have the not uh, commerce uh, partnership. If you don't have it, you must have it. It's the best investment you can do. And I'm not selling for not commerce. That's uh, one uh, important secret of us. Also refer us. If you keep your customer uh, happy, they will refer you other uh, customers. That's uh, very important. We are going to talk uh, about it. Uh, well, as I told you, the hosting and support uh, to your uh, to keep uh, to keep your customer gives you future uh, business with him. So, you, uh, very few of our customers have said, "I just want to decide, and, and then I will take care of hosting." Usually, we try to convince them it's in, in their advantage and our advantage that they keep this uh, uh, hosting and support from us. We have uh, some uh, alliances with some advertising agencies. When they uh, their customer require for, uh, for an e-commerce site, they call us and we do them jointly for the, uh, their customer. Google Ads has been working for, for us sometimes. And we used to organize at the very beginning conferences like this when uh, uh, e-commerce was something new. And uh, that led us uh, uh, become uh, well known in Mexico as an uh, e-commerce provider. And uh, sometimes we've been in for specific uh, industries, like the florist industries, who attended to their uh, exhibitions or, or their conferences, and we were sponsored just to be acquainted with this type of vertical market. And sometimes we organize workshops for our own customers and uh, let them invite other uh, friends and that's a, a source of our new customers for us. Competition. Well, let's say here is the bottom of the market, the top of the market. Which are your competitors, friends and family with a small company? Oh, my son is a very good programmer, he can do it. Or, or I have a very good friend and he will do it for free or for almost nothing. Freelance so web designers that, uh, okay, they are designing a web page and now they say, okay, I can download a, a, a card. But uh, you know it's not that easy. 
or the same for a freelance developer. Oh, I have been doing this kind of uh, uh, of developments, and I can uh, download uh, a card. The same for IT developing uh, companies. Uh, much uh, not just an individual, but a company or e-commerce developers. Those are more important uh, uh, competitors of you. The first one I tell the uh, customer, or oh, if you have a, a good problem, and then uh, the, test, uh, the uh, doctor tells you, well, you need a, a good operation. And then you ask them, have you done any operation? Well, you are going to be the first one, but I will do all my best. You won't delay. And I have got uh, sometimes clients that have been with two or three developers and had failure uh, projects. So you tell them if my competitor is not experienced enough, is not a competitor. You are just risking your money or your time. Sometimes advertising agencies have a uh, e-commerce development and uh, and uh, uh, and uh, that they have a department, but uh, it's not uh, good enough. I think uh, the IT department is important in large companies. That's going to be your uh, competitor or solution partners of the ERP or CRM solutions. About competing uh, software, you have the marketplaces or the SaaS solutions or open source solutions. These are for small companies. <laughs> Enterprise solutions are for larger companies. Yeah, here we are dealing, and we have seen uh, in the uh, non-commerce forum how uh, we can, uh, what are the advantages of non-commerce against Magento or other compet uh, competitor solutions. What are our competitive edges? First of all, we are specialized. We only do e-commerce, e-commerce and development. We don't do marketing, we don't do anything else but e-commerce. So that's an advantage. We are like the uh, surgeon. We make operation every day and that is valued by our customers, potential customers, the experience. Uh, almost 20 years of experience, development uh, abilities. We have uh, specialized people in different type of needs. A client portfolio, you can get references from all these customers. Those uh, that give uh, more confidence to our customers, our showcases, and it's important, a very good proposal. You cannot just say, send them a one page saying so many hours, that's your price. You have to sell them a solution and we will, are going to discuss it. Patience and persistence. You know how long I have been packing for a customer sometimes? I have a customer who just joined us. We started in 2010. Six years. You have to be patient. Sometimes they are not decided. Just keep on, keep on. And competitive pricing. That means a fair price. You don't have to be the, uh, give the lowest price. Something competitive, worth what they are paying. So uh, if, when uh, we don't when someone, uh, a customer, potential customer, calls us we don't, uh, and says, I want a proposal, we don't make the proposal until we do some uh, 
kind of, uh, of uh, consulting. We interview them. Uh, what the, we do a kind of a consulting with them, as I described. What are the products market? What are uh, your e-commerce needs? And what is your approximate budget? It's important to know. Probably they are thinking, okay, everything is now open source, free. So uh, for uh, $1,000, I can get a huge, nice site. You have to guess. If they don't have uh, a budget, just tell them, why don't you start with eBay and then you uh, get to your own side. A proposal within their budget is important, in line with their needs, and include your own and honest recommendation. Many times we tell our potential customer, not, uh, sorry, e-commerce is not for you. You are not mature enough, or this is, you have a, too many competitors, you don't have the, uh, 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 the ability to, to uh, compete against them. Better stay away. And the contents uh, of in, uh, in the uh, proposal is understand the, the needs of the client, general business proposal, what are what is going to be the design tools for search and navigation, visualization, operation, everything, and the cost and timing. How much uh, time you will develop, uh, need, and how much it would be the cost, and uh, a diagram of uh, or a map of recommended features, detailed description. Our proposal is normally. 10 to 20 pages long. For that, we are doing a kind of consulting. The more important is the project, the more of the, those are the list of, uh, of the topics we cover in a normal uh, uh, consulting service. Most of them are intrinsically uh, included in our proposal. We have a kind of a, uh, how would I say, uh, a wizard in which we, you know, with Excel, we built a wizard. We decide uh, which features are interesting for the customer. We select them, and then the wizard produces a map which we present in our proposal of all the features that we were recommending for the client and a very detailed description of each one of the features. And that's very valuable, valued by our potential customers. What they say when we make a proposal, this was, this was the best proposal we got in terms of details, in terms of what is uh, going to be, uh, the, what are the deliverers and uh, deliverables, and so on. And we also produce a Gantt diagram of all the activities we are going to do. Well, to retain your customers, there are some key issues. Service, service and service. If you give a good service, better than expected, you are going to retain your customer. And he is going to recommend you, and he will give you more business from time to time. Learn, uh, and uh, service is not something new, uh, uh, standard for each customer. You have to know what is important for each uh, one of your customers. Help them to succeed. If they are successful, you will be successful with them. Build a personal relationship. You don't have to play golf, I don't play, but uh, to build up a personal relationship so they trust you is important to keep uh, with this customer. Good uh, proposal for a uh, 
enhancements and upgrades, and make sure that all your personnel is uh, committed, fully committed to give a good service. In our case, almost 50% of the income is variable of our personnel, depending on bonuses, how uh, the customers are satisfied on or how well they are working. 50% of their income and sometimes more. Well, thank you very much for your attention.